In this edition of Earthlings Unscripted, Deborah Hennekamp on presence, patience, and perseverance. I think that um, most of the the power of love, like most of what it means to let that energy that is the most powerful work through us, it requires the three Ps. So you have it with patience and you have it with presence. And then there's also perseverance, you know? Because I think that we know this, like we're mothers, we know this, you know? But I think that like most of us have had someone or something we've loved dearly and you don't give up on what you love. You know, so I think that it's presence in that it's okay. This is the moment. This is the moment that I have the ability to choose love or to choose fear. I I have all the possibilities available to me in this moment. Um, and then just like the patience to understand, like this moment isn't yesterday. It's not tomorrow. It's now and so this is what I have the ability to mold and to shape and and to grow into and I think the second that we get too far into tomorrow that creates a lot of anxiety and then when we get too far into yesterday it creates a lot of kind of depression and so like in in the middle and it's not to not like reflect on the past to gain wisdom or to have some like foresight about where you're going, but it's just not to live in these places, right? Like when you're when you're able to live in the presence, that already puts you in the power of love because you're you're in a state of like awareness, you know? And because you're in that state of awareness, you're also very protected, you're very held because you're paying attention to what's happening now. Right. You know? Um and, and patience in that, like, all of nature is patient. Like, you, you know, you never would, like, plant a little seed and then yell at it to grow. Mm-hmm. Like, but Perfect. we do that to ourselves all the time, you know? Mm-hmm. We're like, how can I fast track my, you know, my education, my growth within some career, or even, like, fast tracking spiritual development, you know? And it doesn't it doesn't really work like that, right? But then I think like the final P, the the perseverance part of it is really important because I've seen a lot of presence and patience in like its spiritual communities and things like that. But then also a lot of sort of anytime resistance would pop up just kind of like dropping the ball and going okay what's next or like let me do something that feels a little bit more easy like you know and I think that actually the moment that we encounter some kind of resistance in ourselves in the world around us it is a moment to pause to really look at what it is but it's not a moment to just give up.